everyone welcome to our youtube channel so we are starting this new course from 1st january this week in this video we are going to talk about the course description and the course introduction related to english literature so we from 1st january and please remember the date as well and start enrolling 1st january from 1st january we are beginning this course of english literature so jiska bhi paper 2 is english literature they can see this video in detail we will talk about the syllabus and how we will proceed and what all other topics that i will be dealing so there will be another video where half of the syllabus would be discussed by another teacher right now in this video i will talk about the things that i will be dealing but of course overview of the syllabus is also important so let us talk about the overview once and then we will dwell deeper into the sections that are there so we all know that whoever has english literature english literature as your paper 2 right we're talking about paper 2 they have a syllabus that is there in the on the ugc portal also right nta website mein so what's the syllabus so they have given the syllabus as like you have unit 1 as drama unit 2 as poetry then you have fiction and short stories then you have non fiction right so these are the first four units and these four units are not as simple as it is as it seems to you why because they haven't bifurcated it on the basis of the various countries or the various zones from where questions are asked so we all know if drama is written if you see the word drama this does not mean that they are going to ask questions from only one section so you have to do you have to deal with british with british drama with american drama right with american drama or with the european drama or with indian drama right so european european or indian so all of these four units that i told you drama poetry fiction short story and non fiction these are the four units that you have to dwell deeper poetry fiction and non fiction so these are the four units that you have and in these four units you have to bifurcate it and learn and study the things according to the countries or the places from where literature is from from which places literature is they are talking about right so agar wo british literature pooch rahe hai to you have to study the part from the british literature so that is why it becomes very comprehensive right so you they ask questions from drama poetry fiction and non fiction related to british literature american literature then you have european literature so in european literature there can be there can be question asked from italian literature greek literature it can be french literature right so these are the things that you will study would mean the course and then you will be able to positionalize from where the questions are asked also indian literature is something that we will focus on after this we have unit number 5 that is language the basic theories that are there basically it is called as elt and pedagogy is also included in it then we have the history of english literature how it it involved uh, evolved etc then we have cultural studies a lot of questions are asked from cultural studies now cultural studies plus your theory uh, you see interdisciplinary questions asked from these two topics then comes the literary criticism literary criticism cultural theory then you have cultural studies then you have what then the last but not the least is the research methodology from where definitely some questions are asked in your paper for example mla style and etc so about styling basically they ask questions what's a bibliography what's work cited which is the correct manner in which the work should be cited which type of citing should be there so these are the questions that are fairly easy because once you read the text once you read the documents that we will be giving to you then it would be easy but when it comes to these four units a detailed discussion needs to happen here right because it's not a you know it's it is something that is very vast and not at all comprehensive right so you have to break the topics break the whole literature into smaller parts and then study so this in this video what all topics i will be dealing you will look uh, you will see this in the video so a brief history of british literature first of all is right in front of you so in my class first of all we will see that british literature can be divided into different 
time periods. So time periods are very important to learn British literature. You see a lot of questions being asked. Of course, British literature is something that is the heart of your paper as well. Nowadays, cultural studies and literary theory are also known as the heart of your paper. But of course, British literature is something that is the base of everything. So, if there is a problem in British literature, then of course, definitely, a lot of things are difficult to understand. So, we will start with British literature. So, in the class, first of all, I assure you, we will do what? We will positionalize everything according to the periods. The time periods are very important. Then, before starting and dwelling into the writers that are there, we will talk about history. That's very, very important. So, being a literature student, you should know which king was dealing, what is War of Roses, why is this thing happening there, what is the cultural references and what was the background where these works were written. Right. So, we will start with the Old English period where this is also called as the Anglo-Saxon period and then we have the Norman age also. So, we have the time period in front of you and you can just note these things down for better understanding. Then we have the Middle English period which is divided into three parts as we all know. We have the Norman age, like the tip is there. Then we have the, the, uh, the period of Chaucer, so Chaucer is writing and then we have the Revival age. right? Then we have the Dark and the Barren age, the Revival age. Then we have the Renaissance. So, this is the time period, 1500 se leke 1600 ke beech mein, there is the renaissance, the awakening of the man. Then we have the neoclassical period, we have the romantic period, the romantic period, then we have the Victorian age, then we have the Edwardian age, then we have the Norwegian period, then we have the modern period, then the postmodern period. So, the entire British literature needs to be studied according to the periods that are there. In each period, there are different writers, there are different backgrounds that are important. So, before starting every class, before starting every unit or you can say every period that is there, I will give you in detail what was the history. We will make flowcharts, we will talk about all the kings that are there. Graphically, we will draw everything so that you, you can positionalize. Ki background kya tha? So, we all know that being a literature student, you are not only studying literature of that time, but you are also studying the psychological impact that the people had. Why is the writer writing like, the, like this? What was the historical context, cultural context, social context, etc. Right? So, you have to, and this is what my teachers used to tell me, that being a literature student, you actually are studying everything that is there under humanity section. Right? So, you have to know everything to know the text properly and this is how you will remember things for longer, right? So, we will talk about how the Christianity came into picture, how we have the printing press that were introduced, what is this age of reason, what is enlightenment, what are the key philosophers that started to write, okay? Then we have how the industrial revolution and how the French revolution were impacting the writers that were writing of, uh, you know, during that time. Then how there are some critical changes that would happen and how the, uh, the war would impact the writers. So, the modern and the postmodern period, right? So, let us see the things that I will be dealing. So, we will start with the Old English literature. In the Old English literature, we will study works like Beowulf, Widsworth. We have Genesis. We will talk about all of these things that are written in front of you. So, the Old English literature or the Anglo-Saxon is the earliest period of the English literature. And we will deal with the earliest period. So, we will start with the very beginning how actually Britain was shaped, how we have the Vikings, what, who were the Normans, who were the Saxons and how we have Angles, Jutes coming to that place, how actually the whole literature came into picture. We will also study about the history of English literature. We will deal with the Celts, that who were Celts, who were the Romans who actually captured the area then. What were these Germanic settlements, who were Vikings, how they invaded. Then we will study about the Saxon age. Then we will study how the Old Norse became so famous. Then comes the French literature, that uh, you know, the, the influence of the French period. That is why Anglo-Norman ki under the Old French was becoming very important. You see that the evolution of the language is very much clear to you from this picture that is you know, in front of you. So, we have the Old English, Middle English, Early mo early Modern English and then we have the Late Modern English. So, as the 
country was being shaped similarly the literature and the background was also evolving so we will positionalize everything according to that and this picture this is going to help you in the class also then after uh, reading about the saxon and the normans we will talk about the elizabethan era a very very important era after the death of geoffrey chaucer one of the most important writer who was writing in fact unki puri ek age thi apne so we have the chaucer's age after that we have this baron age because kuch time tak zyada achhi literature thi hi nahi there was not much what that was written so we have sir thomas sir thomas what uh, and the earl of surrey who were mentioned together after that and they were writing after that in the 1609 we have shakespeare coming who wrote these sonnets 154 sonnets unhone likhe the 154 sonnets and th and these were all printed as well and shakespeare will become the most important writer and we will study shakespeare in detail all the sonnets and all the plays of shakespeare you have detailed questions being asked from these things right so we will give you handouts where you have the summaries as well and we will deal with these works the the beginning lines or the important lines that are asked in the text because shakespeare himself is as i told you a age so after chaucer it is shakespeare jinke naam pe ek age puri ban gayi thi it was called as the age of shakespeare right so there are important writers who are there in the elizabethan period we have edmund spenser we have uh, walter raleigh we have michael drayton and so many other writers right spenser and sidney we hum specially focus karenge because there are questions asked from these people then we have ben johnson who can forget this very important figure then we will in detail talk about the university wits so there are seven university wits we will learn them learn them in the class and we will study about the works that they have written so we have the university wits like lily we have thomas kidd we have pele then we have thomas lodge we have robert green christopher marlowe and thomas nash there are always tussles going on between them we will discuss that people were attacking them there were a lot of works that they have written and shakespeare was influenced by some of the works they have written so we will study that as well in fact when you talk about ben johnson then also there are a lot of things that we will study about him right then we have john dun who was who started to write and he of course added some of the glory in this era then we have francis bacon so these are the people who are important francis bacon was a very versatile writer of this elizabethan age and he is often considered as the father of english essays also so we will study about him then of course dramas who can forget dramas so there are a lot of dramas we have ben johnson writing mass likhna start kiye the unhone and the first regular english comedy was written that is called as the raff royster doister that was written by nicholas odell so we will study about these things also then we we will study about another grammar another comedy text that was written and this is called as the gammon gertens niddle right so this work niddle is also important then we have the first tragedy gorbodoc that was also written in blank verse right by thomas norton so these are some important works that you have to remember and we will study about all of these things so william shakespeare was born and he was writing and we will in detail talk about shakespeare as i told you christopher marlowe and shakespeare the two dramatists we will talk about them in detail then comes the restoration dramas the restoration drama and the prose so the restoration of charles 2 that happened in 1660 brought the revolution in english literature after shakespeare we have some other ages and then we will study the restoration period so restoration itself the word would would tell you that kuch restore hua so what was restore the monarchy was again restored we have the restoration of charles 2 that happened in 1660 right so brought about the revolution of english literature with the collapse of the puritan government the sprang of the activities were seen and now the influence of the french people would be seen right a lot of influence of the french would be seen because charles kahan pe reh rahe the kuch time tak when he was in exile he was living in france so we will study about these things the restoration encouraged a lot of immoral activities as i told you because the french culture would enter the court now 
the indecent plays are also going to be written and the whole era of it actually change so we have dryden who will write here he has written the most important works like astyagidex and asmerabilus so on and so forth the conquest of granada then we have all for love the essay on dramatic poesy and who can leave john dryden so john dryden is the most important writer when it, when you talk about this age in fact some people call this age as the age of dryden also because he was writing there a plethora of works are written by him he is not only a writer but he is also a critic so he has written this important work an essay on dramatic poesy which we will go in greater detail because questions are asked from here then we have a bunyan who is writing these great allegorical works the pilgrim's progress and the holy war are the two works that he has also written then we have comedy of manners now if you are studying about the restoration period and you don't study about comedy of manners you are doing injustice right so comedy of manners ke andar we are going to in detail study about all the play writers who were writing and how farcical the plays were getting we'll study about etherage the works written by etherage we'll study about william congreve one of the most important writer when it comes to the paper as well, your paper as well because direct questions are asked from your william congreve so he is not only writing comedy of manners but also he has written some other works that are important so i see this trend that jitne bhi zyada important writer hoga unka lesser important work bhi pooch lete hain so we will not only study the most important works but the less important works also then we have william wycherley and we have sir john vanbrugh so we have most important works like the country wife the man of moor the way of the world by william congreve these are the very very important works that are written they are all called as the comedy of manners and a slapstick type of comedy was seen during this time so we have to study about all of these things then comes the later 19th century which is you which you can call it as the uh, the victorian period not only the poets but the novelists became very important in the victorian period so as you know the industrialization would you know start to spring up here and of course the railway system would start so the victorian era has a touch touch a very different touch of its own so when you will study victorian era with me you will fall in love with this era why because we will first of all positionalize how victorian era started what were the ways in which the women used to dress themselves what were the few changes that were happening there so culturally historically kya kya changes aa rahe the we will write all of these things according to the various flow charts that i have prepared for you so two important poets that we will study uh, the these people are lord tennyson law alfred lord tennyson and then we will study about robert browning robert browning is one of the most important poet when it comes to the dramatic monologue now how questions are asked from robert browning they will give you the works of robert browning and they will also give you the the protagonists that are there so in each of his poetry there are definitely he is talking about one important figure right so they actually ask questions that are in greater detail related to all the poems of robert browning robert browning say you see detail questions unke sare works whether it is fra lippo lippi or whether it is the last ride together all the works are important what are basically who who is the one who is talking there in the text that is also very important dramatic monologue itself is something that became a genre and a lot of people were writing about it okay a lot of poets were using in fact tennyson and browning both are writing poems related to dramatic monologue what do you mean by dramatic monologue can you comment down below what do you mean by dramatic monologue right so then we will study about matthew arnold when you talk about victorian age and you don't mention matthew arnold you're doing a crime again so matthew arnold has written works like dover beach then the scholar gypsy and so many notable poems not only poems but other works also are very important we have elizabeth barrett browning who is going to marry whom she was the one who married robert browning so we'll study about her we'll study about dante gabriel rossetti how they were criticized to be belonging to the fleshly school of poetry ac swenberg was also writing 
so and of course there is a magazine called as germ that is associated with dante gabriel rossetti we'll study about the magazines also very important bahut sare questions aate hain usme se then we'll study about uh, see we have fitzgill then we have uh, then we have rudyard kipling and then we have francis thompson so these are also some people who poets who were writing and writers as well then we have the novelist so we will focus in detail about we'll study about jane, jane austen charles dickens very very important in fact every character related to charles dickens would be discussed in the class then we'll study about thackeray then we'll study about the bronte sisters then we'll study about george eliot and thomas hardy again detail questions are asked from thomas hardy so we'll study thomas hardy in detail related to the works also unke sare works ki summary we will touch upon whether it is desperate remedies whether it is under the green wood tree or it is far from the madding crowd return of the native the mayor of caster bridge test of the devils jude dobscure all these works are very very important in fact i see that they used to they actually give you paragraphs from some of the works related to thomas hardy and then they ask questions related to it the from the test of the devils recently questions were asked so this text is is very very important okay then we have mary shelley who was writing we have poe and then of course very important writer we have sir walter scott so the works of sir, sir walter scott the poetry as well and the other works that he has written we'll discuss them in the class right so he is known for waverly he is known for the the black dwarf he is known for the other works that he has sorry that he has written right then we have some of the other novelists that are there we have stevenson stevenson has written the treasure the treasure land we have meredith meredith writing we have edward lytton and and then we have welkie collins anthony trollope we have nathaniel hawthorne and others who were writing during this period so we will read, uh, we will read about all the works jo in sab logon ne likhe hain right then comes your prose that were written during this period so in the victorian period prose bhi bahut famous ho gaye the we have important prose writers like charles lamb we have uh, william hazlitt then we have thomas kyron then we have thomas macaulay so he is the lord macaulay the one who talked about the downward filtration theory right he has written a lot of prose work and questions are asked from him then we have charles dickens so who can leave charles dickens so these are the very important essay writers who are there for example uh, essays of elia kisne likha they can ask you direct questions like this so we should know that charles lamb is famous for ch- the essays of elia then we have william hazlitt who has written in detail about the characters of shakespeare's play he has written important works and all of these works are asked in the paper then we have thomas de quincey's In fact, recently they asked the Confessions of an English Opium Eater is written by whom? So you should know that it is Thomas De Quincey who has written it, right? Then we have John Ruskin, we have Samuel Butler and Matthew Arnold who also have written a you know many essays and we will study about them. If you want to note this down, you can pause the video or take a screenshot. These are the important essays that they have written. Then. again we have the post modern period so in the post modern period the fragmentation the defragmentation what was happening after the war these are the things that are important we'll study about the theorists who were also writing during this time how people were becoming so absurd so absurd theater was there people were suffering from these existential crises that the world can finish like like this right because the world the world war 1 and the world war 2 impacted the people and the core of these people in the greater detail so we have samuel beckett we have pinter we have osborne t s eliot sino casey we have arnold wesker bertol brett then we have presley somerset monk christopher fry then we have alan bennett tom stewart and so many other writers who were writing and they will all touch upon the theme of absurdity there are so many other things to discuss like kitchen sink drama and in detail we'll talk about these things in the class we have other novelists who were writing so we have so many different novelists 
you can look at the screen look on uh, look at the screen there these are the various novelists that were writing agatha christie we have j j r r tolkien bram stoker christopher isherwood somerset maugham doris lessing then we have j k rowling martin emmis graham swift muriel spark a s bait angela carter and many more right so we'll discuss about all of them in the class edward bond you see questions asked from christopher fry you have questions asked from harold pinter samuel beckett tom stoppard arnold wesker all of them are very very important then we have some of the most important poets like seamus heney ted hughes philip larkin tom gunn jeffrey hill then comes the american literature so after the british period after the british literature we will start with the american literature in the american literature we will deal with the pre colonized era and how america came into picture how it was the four fathers the pilgrims who settled in america how actually christianity played a major role and how we see the puritans and the anglicans who were fighting with one another or you can say how the church came into picture so these sari cheeze we will be dealing and then we will study about the how actually the america came into picture we will study about the colonial and the early national period that was there we will study about the realism and the naturalism that came into picture we will study about the major novelist and the major novels that were written during this period right we will study about stephen crane these are the people who are associated with realism and naturalism realism and naturalism theodore deezer or stephen crane they brought what they brought realism and naturalism in america and america shaped because of these different isms that were there franz norris and of course we have henry james so in american literature henry james is someone jinse detail mein questions aate hain so we'll study about the various works that are written by him whether it is the work the portrait of a lady what uh, the wings of the dove the golden bowl etc all these works we will study in detail in the class these are the other people who are writing other novelists who were writing in the post modern age in america in the post modern age in america you can note these people down then comes the post colonial literature so when we start with the post colonial literature it is very important to read the african american literature in the african american literature we will study about important canonical writers like frederick douglas who wrote this important work the native in the life of frederick douglas then we will study about harriet jacobs work incidents in the life of the slave girl we we'll study how the post slavery era is there and the pre slavery era was there so post and pre dono era we will study here we'll study up in this decade following the civil war as well as the emancipation two african american literature canons were there we have booker t washington and w e b du bois so these are the people who we will study in detail then comes the harlem renaissance the harlem renaissance the age of jazz harlem renaissance these are the things that will come into picture we'll study about langston hughes langston hughes we'll study about zora neale hudson whose novel their eyes are watching god was a critical success then we'll study about alice walker the color purple one of my favorite books as well and many more writers were there Richard Wright who has written works like Native Son we have James Baldwin who has written works like Notes of a Native Son we have Ralph Ellison's work The Invisible Man these are the works that are also included in a lot of you know in a syllabus of your central universities so jo bhi achhi achhi universities hoti hain unke jo syllabus hote hain udhar actually wo wale works padhna to kafi zyada important hota hai then we have Hansberry then we have Uh, Cody Cullen we have Richard Wright Emery Baraka 
then we have martin martin luther king then we have malcolm x both of them are important we will study about the uh, autobiography they have written or maybe the speeches they have given we will study about langston hugh maya angelo a raisin in the sun a very important work by lauren hansberry we will study about these things in the class Maya Angelou say a lot of works, a lot of times questions are asked according to the chronology. So chronological questions we will solve in the class. Then comes the writers of British diaspora. Now what do you mean by diaspora? Diaspora is actually, is com it, the word is coming from this Jew, Jewish word which means dispersal. Right? Jis tarikai se Jews har jaga disperse ho gai the. Usi tarikai se when you disperse the things, you disperse the people. You call it as diasporas. And with diaspora comes a lot of theories also. Like you have mimicry or you have alienation. So these are the things that we will study. Nostalgia. So we will do all these things to understand these writers better. Right? Ishiguru or we have Hanif Khureshi or we have Salman Rushdie. We are Snipole, Sam Silvan. These are the people who are related to the writers that are there in the British diaspora. And we will study about the works. Now, uh, now I don't see questions being asked in detail. So, summary padni zaruri nahi hai. But to know about the works that they have written is important. So, quickly we will study about all of these things in the class. We have then the Australian writers. So, the, this is the uh, period, uh, this is the, uh, you know, the you can say the unit that is also important because you see questions asked from Australian writers. A.D. Hope is important. David Melu, Patrick White, Peter Carey and Judith Wright. So you can count them on your fingertips. These are the most important writers that are there in American literature, uh, in Australian literature. But they have written so many works and to study about these works is a challenge. But we will do this together. So Australian literature is important. After Australian literature comes the European literature. European literature, apne aap mein, there are so many the other zones that are there in the European literature. We will start with the classical Greek literature where we will study about all the Greek gods. So, I will take one class where we will study about all the Greek gods. Right? It is the most interesting class that we will be having. Then we will study about the Greek civilization, the Greek theatre, Homer, Aeschylus. We will study about Sophocles, Euripides, Aristophanes, Aesop's and Aesop's fables and then we will study about Pindar as well. So, these are the things that we will study. After the Greek literature, Italian literature is also important. Right? So, in the Italian literature, one of the most important writer, and I see definitely questions being asked from him, is Lyungi Perandola. Right? So, this work, six, correct, uh, six Characters in Search of an Author, is an important work, and we will study the works in detail. We will study about Dante, Dante, Patriarch, Boccaccio, Boccaccio, Lyungi Perendola, Italiano Calvino, very important, and Ambrito Eco. So these three, uh, three writers, which I have end me mark here, in se bohat sare questions aate. There are a lot of questions that we will discuss. We will also solve some of the PYQs so that you understand how questions are asked. Then comes the French literature. So as the Australian literature is important, French literature ke bhi direct writers you have. And works are asked. But there are many in number. So we have to study this as well. We have Montagne. We have Moliere. We have Voltaire. Then we have Gustav Flaubert. A lot of times he is asked. Emily Zola. Albert Camus. Marcel Proust. So these are the writers that we will study in French literature. These are some other writers. Milan Kundra. He is a contemporary writer. You see questions asked from him. Alexander Damas. Right? So these are the people and how can we forget Charles Baudelaire? Then comes the Indian literature. Now from past, I think two to three times I have seen so many questions being asked from the Indian literature as well. So we will first of all study all the canonical writers but not only that, in detail we will study all the writers who are writing, you know they are under the Indian writer spring. So, we will study about the novelist and the poets because unknown writers we are puche ja rahe So, we will pay a lot of focus on the, on this unit that is the Indian literature. Indian literature, sir, we will study about the novelist and the poets. We have important novelists. These are the most important 
contemporary these are the most important canonical novelist i must say so for example who can leave pankim chandra chatterjee who can not study about mulkraj anand or your rk narayan or raja rao so these are the people who we will study but inke sath sath the other important writers who are there hum wo bhi incorporate karenge because that is also very important the challenge is that you won't be able to find a lot of writers on your own so we will study together i will add and make the right the list of these novelists fully comprehensive so that you can study just by your notes then we will study about the various so these are some of the other writers that we will study there are some of the other indian english poets so ye kuch purane poets hai jinse definitely questions puche jate hain we will study about torudat or bindo we have sarojini naidu rabindranath tagore kamla das then ramanujan ak malhotra niran c choudhury ruskin bond then we have shashi desh pande we have jeev desai and so many writers are there and we'll study about the writer the works the stories they have written or maybe the poetry they have written right then comes the language and pedagogy section now this section can be dealt in one class or maybe two but of course questions puche jate hain so we will study this in detail as well we'll study about all the basic linguistic uh features that are there we'll study about words like phonology morphology or important terms that are you know included under this then we'll study about the basic english project the new bolt project we'll study about the evolution of english literature english language we'll study about the popular journals and magazines gradually we will have a complete list at the end jab hum logo ne sari journals and magazines likh liye honge right with every era with every period you have some of the journals being added here so we'll study about the contemporary as well as the old journals and magazines that are there then the evolution of the dictionary popular dictionaries that are there we'll study about spare wolf hypothesis you see questions asked from here as well so we will deal with all these basic concepts and theories that are related to the english language teaching that is elt then comes your literary criticism so in literary criticism very simple we will start with the greek critics like socrates plato and aristotle then we will jump to of course you have the other teacher also dealing the things that are missing here we have the italian age critics we will study about dryden pope and johnson very very important then we have the roman age critics who can not study wordsworth coleridge and keats there are important terms that these people have also given so not only the literary background is important not only the text is important but some of the terms that they have coined is also very important right so for example spots of time wordsworth ne in detail spots of time ke bare mein baat ki hai so we'll study about those things right what was he talking ki poetry kaise padhni chahiye ek acha critic kya hota hai these are the things that these people are talking about what do you mean by fancy how many types of imagination are there what do you mean by primary imagination secondary imagination what is the difference between these two these are the things that coleridge has written in his essay how many works they have written what all are the contributions that they have done we'll study these things then comes the literary theory now a lot of questions will be asked from here so you have to just buckle up your seats because aapki literary theory and your cultural studies are the two most important things that you have to do with me and of course hum log detail mein baat karenge about all the theories whether it is russian formalism whether it is deconstruction historical criticism or intertextual criticism reader response theory mimetic criticism archetypal criticism or we have psychological criticism marxism feminism we will go till the very end we'll study about green studies also right something that is very important so we'll study about the new criticism new criticism padhenge hum sabse pehle russian formalism padhenge uske baad hum log practical criticism padhenge ie richards ka close reading ka jinhone concept diya tha then we'll study about new criticism we'll study about William Ibsen, I. A. Richards, Kenneth Brooks, F. R. Lewis, William, uh, William K. Winsett, and Munro Bradley will study about our 
we we study about rp blackmore and the terms that they have given for example who coined the term say who talked about seven types of ambiguity so you should know ibsen talked about it who talked about close reading so you should know i a richards ne baat ki hai brook kiske liye famous hai unhone kaun se text likhe hai wo kab publish hue the the dates are also very important because chronologically questions are asked now f r lewis is famous for what why do we study will uh, william k wimsett and bretsey because they talked about two types of fallacies intentional fallacy and affective fallacy so these are the things that we will do then ellen tate then we have john crow ranson and we have the other neo aristot uh, neo aristotelian writers of course formalism is we, uh, something that we will study victor shawski boris ekebom roman jacobson ये सारे हम पढ़ेंगे वॉट इज फॉर्मलिज्म से लेकर हम लोग कैसे पढ़ते हैं वॉट इज लिटरीनेस वॉट आर द वेरियस फॉर्म्स मीटर्स क्या होते हैं राइम्स कैसे वो पढ़ते हैं टेक्स्ट विल स्टडी अबाउट दैट विल स्टडी अबाउट स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म एंड द राइटर्स रिलेटेड टू स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म रोल एंड बाथ मिखेल भक्तिन बींग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन बट यू कैन नॉट लीव एनी ऑफ दैम एंड फर्नाडेड दी से साइन द सिग्निफायर दीज आर द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट दे हैव गिवन then we have post modern writers very very important post modern age or post modern writers dono bahut important hai direct questions aate hain we have jean baudelia we have julia kristeva we have uh, lyotard lyotard is also very important jinhone petit narratives ke bare mein baat ki grand narratives petit narratives we have frederick jensen then we have reader response theory so directly questions are also asked from reader response theory क्या होते हैं रीडर्स और रीडर्स कैसे टेक्स्ट पढ़ सकते हैं व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टेक्स्ट एंड द रीडर हाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द चेंजिंग सर्कमस्टांसेस द रीडर आल्सो चेंजेस राइट सो वी हैव विल्फ एंगर एशर स्टैनली फिश दीज आर द टू वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइटर्स हु टॉक अबाउट द रीडर रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी देन वी हैव द क्वेर थ्योरी वी हैव सेडविक हु हैज रिटर्न इन डिटेल अबाउट द क्वेर थ्योरी वी हैव एलन सिनफील देन वी हैव एंड्रिन रिच then comes the eco criticism so eco criticism and green studies dono padhenge right green studies bhi hum yahan pe padhenge green studies right what is eco criticism what are the major critics what is green studies dono contemporaries hain theek hai ek america mein aayi thi aur ek hamari britain ke andar then we have the cultural studies so we will talk about the introduction of the cultural studies क्या होता है कल्चरल स्टडीज वट आर वट इज बेसिकली द रेलिवेंस ऑफ मीडिया एंड द थ्योरीज दैट आर देयर सो वट डू यू मीन बाय कल्चरल मेटीरियलिज्म वट डू मीन बाय फंक्शनलिज्म वट हु टॉक अबाउट द सर्किट ऑफ कल्चर हु टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इनकोडिंग डिकोडिंग सो यू शुड नो स्टूअर्ट हॉल सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट तीन चार जो जो भी हमारे कल्चरल स्टडीज से राइटर्स हैं वहीं पर ही बात खत्म नहीं कर रही है नाउ यू हैव टू डिग डीप because the paper is even become you know paper is also becoming too comprehensive so wo bahut sare alag alag cultural studies ke writers ke bare mein aap se puchte hain so stuart hall or richard hogarth marshall mcluhan or john fisk are important but you have to go one step further and study about the other writers who are also writing what actually is cultural studies har cheez culture hi hai right so we are influencing culture and culture influences us so every literature is somehow impacting the culture and it is impacted by the culture so culture studies became, you know is the most important thing that we will study then we will study about the popular culture the basic trends that are there the changing values ideologies the relevance of the contemporary society what do you mean by the this digital media culture ya fir globalization globalization kya hota hai these are the important contemporary concepts not only this these are the things that will help you to further think about your phd's also phd ke topics aajkal yahi se hi people are deciding so these things are important you will critically study all of these things right so i hope in detail mein jitni bhi humne cheezon ke bare mein baat ki hai you understood it you understood how we will go uh, with the course in the entire course that we have so from 1st january we are beginning and we have two teachers we have divided the course amongst us and we will study this in detail 
और हम लोग कैसे कैसे पीरियड वाइज पढ़ेंगे दैट इज समथिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू एंड गिव यू अस्ट इन दिस वीडियो सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड इट अगर कोई भी डाउट है यू कैन आस्क मी दैट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन राइट सो अगर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम है सो यू कैन राइट इट ऑल्सो यू शुड रिमेम्बर दैट फर्स्ट जनवरी से वी आर स्टार्टिंग द कोर्स राइट सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्टिकिंग विद मी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर अटेंडिंग दिस लेक्चर लुकिंग वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड थैंक यू एंड हैव अ वंडरफुल डे बाय बाय